Welcome, welcome, one and all, to another episode of Redux with Charles Frankie, aka Cheat Dog, and another Pokemon Academy Life. Mm, as we continue on the demo, was well, Pokemon Life forever or whatever? Um, <laughs> as we finish the demo, or not finish, we're not even close. I don't think we're close. I don't actually. I don't know how far this demo will go if it goes all the way to where the original demo went two years ago. Who knows? Mm. But, um, pretty much in the last time we were just in homeroom with Professor Oak, uh, <laughs> and found out he was also a professor, not just old man Oak. And talked, they, they, they talked about the electives, and we had fun at Gary's expense, which I nicknamed Edge. I don't know why I didn't just call him Gary, so I could just say Gary all the time. But Edge is fun. <laughs> it's a nickname. Um, it's kind of weird, because it's not like how in Pokemon Red, first time getting him, everyone was like, oh, you can give the rival a name. Worst offensive name. You possibly knew when you were 10 was what you gave Gary. That's <laughs> his name. Whatever came to mind. But anyway, seven of them were right now sitting with all the girls, which is even our own characters like, this is suspicious. Keep on rolling. <laughs> Meet Leaf, finally get her name too. And then I'm just going to continue because now, well, uh, well, it's finally, is it finally? I think that's her name? How they spell? Renry already came in, but I think this is fun. Um, and we're gonna say something to her because I'm stalling. I'm stalling hardcore. I guess I don't know what to say. I'm gonna continue. So, let's continue. Uh, you know what? Rough morning, huh? Rough morning, huh? Who wants to know? Oh, I just thought that, you know, kind of looked tired. Not anymore, I'll, though. How about you mind your own business? I don't remember asking you for your opinion or anything. That is true. You should probably never tell, a per especially a woman, to never tell them, hey, you look tired. Because it's almost as bad as saying you look ugly <laughs> or messed up or something weird. Ciao, fun. I'm sure you didn't mean anything by it. I should give her a country accent. It's, it's Whitney. Yes, thank you. It's the first day. You should keep it a little on the DL, girl. Psh. You have to ease up on Fanny. She's a little l rough around the edges in the morning. I didn't get a plus one, so I did that wrong. Understand, morning isn't exactly the my favorite time of day either. Heh. <laughs> We're almost late because Flam slept through all of her alarm clocks. They don't work. <clears throat> they don't work, Whitney. I don't know how many times I have to tell you. Good thing that you could possibly do is to keep the phone or whatever alarm you have, keep it as far as way as possible while you sleep. So when it actually rings, you have to get up to turn it off. I think it's because your snore, your snore is louder than the clocks. Oh, wow. I do not snore. Hey, what are you smirking at? I don't snore, you hear me? I believe you, so you're Whitney and you're Flannery. I'm Ren. Nice to meet you, Ren. Yeah, sorry about that. Get out of your case earlier. Don't worry about it. Keep, <clears throat> keep it down back there. All right, really gotta buckle down and focus now. <laughs> I learned nothing. The rest of your class passes without incident. It's, about, it's now time to pick the elective you're going to. Oh, so you do it now? Okay. Oh, because you can see. Oh, so if I pick Dragon, he's gonna be there. Ugh, but Don's gonna be there. It never showed you, so you never knew. Well, my favorite elements are dragon. And then it actually gets weird because I don't know if I like steel. Oh, fairy's part of this. 
Um. Mm, water has all new people. Okay. Fire is, of course, these four. I mean, these three. Four. Maze in this. These are new people. I just wanted to go through all this and see. <gasps> Flying has my girl! Flying has my girl! Sky off! <laughs> God damn! <laughs> I don't like flying. <gasps> Rock has my Oh, Rock has B in there? Mmm! Ghost, of course, has Sabrina. I can't have them all! <laughs> what, what does Buck have? Okay. Dark has this one. <sighs> she has to be somewhere else, man. But she's only four. Mm, that makes me angry. I want. <laughs> Silver's in that one. Poison, okay. Ground, ice. Ground has these. Shoot. Okay, what does Dragon have again? It has my girl Leaf. It has this new one who I know is Dawn, but it also has Skinner in there. Ah! You gotta pick dragon. You choose dragon. <sighs> Why does Skyla? I, of course, of course, Skyla's gonna be the flying one. That's her gym. But mm. <laughs> go to the dragon class. Woo! Spot an unfamiliar student and go to greet her. Hey there. Hi there. You're. <laughs> You're Don. What? What's my? What's my name? Boy. Ellipses. Uh, come again? Uh, I was thinking about what I was gonna say to you for five minutes and. Ah, you got tongue tied. That that's all right. So may I guess that your name's Don? Y yes. Cool. I'm ready. Where are you from? Oh. I live in Twin Leaf Town in Sino. Wow, I, I messed that up. Wait, no, I don't. I live there. I actually live here because I'm a student who goes to this school. Help me. Seems like you're a bit nervous. Uh, I'm not. I'm, <laughs> I'm not. No, I'm not. <laughs> I'm sorry, that got me in my head. <laughs> I just think about what I should say before I say it. But I think about it so hard that I say the wrong thing, and it's time to actually say it. Shouldn't it affect your skills as a trainer? You, your Pokemon only need to understand a couple words when you're commanding them in battle, right? In, in battle, yeah. You don't sound enthused. Not into battling? Not really. Huh. I guess you're more of a contest coordinator. Yep, because that used to be a thing. Then, mom, my mom would love that, but no. Uh, you want to study Pokemon like a professor or a research assistant? No. Uh, musical coordinator, ranger, groomer, breeder? Can you please stop. Oh, gee, sorry. I didn't mean to, to harass you. It's not your fault. I'm just a freak. Whoa, hey, what? I'm sure that's not true. Woo! With the angry face, like, hey, you don't get to dog yourself, even though I just met you. Ellipses. Hey, why don't you tell me what you want to do with Pokemon, huh? I don't. Huh? I don't want to care. I don't want to do anything with Pokemon. Ellipses? I don't understand. No one does. Even I don't. I get that I should love them. Everyone else does. I don't like have a good reason to not be with be into them but I just but I just want to I'm sorry for taking it down I'm sorry for oversharing I'm sorry for over apologizing I'm sorry for running away wow Don quickly skips away and takes a new seat at the far corner of the classroom uh, could have gone better. Huh? Ethan? Huh? Hey, Rin. Good to see you. 
Crazy we both choose the same first elective, huh? Heh, <laughs> yeah, kinda wild. A seat taken? Go ahead. Isn't Leaf supposed to be over here? Of all the people to be here. Oh god, it's Edge. <laughs> that look on your face is priceless. Sad you never gonna be the best as long as I'm here, right? There are plenty of other schools you can transfer to. Oh god, Edge. It's not too late to save yourself from being number two for another year. Yeah, right. I'm not coming all this way just to quit. Ah! We'll just see about that. Mm, take your seats. Quickly now. Class started a while ago. Dude, look at what she's wearing. A bit more focus on what she isn't wearing. Good day, class. Welcome to your first dragon type class of the year. It would be funny if it was the other uh, champion, technically? Who wish loves dragon types. I'm Claire, your teacher for this year. First off, let me say this. This class will be unlike anything you have taken before. That is because Dragon Pokemon are unlike any Pokemon in the world. If you are in class simply because you heard that Dragon Pokemon are the strongest Pokemon known to mankind, then you might as well drop out now. Dragon Pokemon are strong not only in body, but in mind. As the apex species of Pokemon, they will not obey humans so easily. Many careless dragon trainers in the past have lost their lives attempting to tame them. To properly instruct you all of I mean you all of how to train and care for your dragon Pokemon, I will not tolerate laziness or misconduct in this classroom. If I see or hear anything about I mean anything out of you that goes against the school's policies or my own, I will personally sign your expulsion papers from the school. Jeez, despite how hot she is, this lady is really putting on a hard ass, putting on the hard ass pants. What pants? Oh, that's funny. It is no coincidence that Dragon Pokemon are present on the majority of champion teams. They're superior to all other Pokemon in both offense and defense. They, they are walking tanks. There's nothing a dragon Pokemon can't do to the other po I mean, can't do that other Pokemon can. You, you look doubtful. Uh, n no miss, not me. I totally respect dragon text. Y yep. <laughs> oh, okay, I gotta hear this. What's your story, Pinky? Nothing other pinky or like magenta. I I'm, I'm sorry. I don't know what color that is on your hat, but I, I started talking and now it's too late to stop it. Silence! You're making a mockery of the proud name of dragon types with such disrespect. You can never hope to stand in the presence of a... Yo! I have a Dratini. What? Yeah, cute little guy. Likes to ride in my hoodie. Oops. Well, it's only natural that if not fully evolved Pokemon would be easier to get along with and have mercy on your... Oh, I have a... a Alteria. Whoa. Alteria? Uh, Alteria? Alteria, sorry. And um, she can Mega Evolve. And she does it sometimes so that it can rest in her fluff. Yeah. Yeah. Mega evolution, huh? Um, sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. I'm sure my Turia is just a very special case. I mean, I raised her from a swap a swap blue, which is really kinda cheating, right? I'm sorry. You're right about dragon types and I'm wrong about everything. Oh, God. Well, clearly you girls are very skilled and talented trainers as is benefiting of a student of the Kabuki Academy. May anyone 
else who attempted to treat their dragon types with such reckless disregard. That's not what you said before. Who said that? Uh, me? I'm just pointing out the contradiction in what you said and... Silence! I hear one word, one more word out of you, and I'll toss you out of the school myself. Mm -hmm. Oh, she managed to scare her edge. That's not something many people are able to pull off. I wasted far too much time today. The point is, if you want to survive training a po dragon type, um, bleh, a dragon Pokemon, there are strict guidelines and rules that you must adhere to, to before even attempting to approach one, let alone trying to catch one. I just throw balls. I just throw Pokeballs until it goes in. <laughs> dragon Pokemon are in many ways superior beings to humans, so you will treat them as such. Anything else? I mean, anything less, and you might find yourself with your life on the line. If this lady is trying to scare me from ever partnering with a dragon type. I mean, dragon Pokemon. It's working. I can't give up now. It's way too early in the game. Hmm. <laughs> for us to call it quits just yet. Worry not. Class is over. Oh. Why are you smiling? I don't like you smiling. Class mates bonds increase. Your dragon proficiency increased to one. <sighs> oh yeah, we have to go. So this is a gymnasium. What if this is a official gym section by the Pokemon League? Most likely not. I didn't read anything about that on the website when I was doing my research. I think it's safe to assume it's just another fancy room in the Academy collection. Though, other than some old banners lining the walls... Epic music here. This place is barren compared to the others. Old banners? Dude, those are champion... <laughs> pennants. <clears throat> they're only given to... They're only given to winners of... Of at least national tournaments. Yeah, but they're just banners. If it was the actual champions hanging up there, then maybe I'll be impressed. That didn't sound the way I thought it was going just to. Yeah, let's just ignore that. Hey look, the rest of the game. There's the rest of the game. With all of them together like that, they really make the room seem a lot livelier. Oh, and there's Misty. Hopefully oh, she's feeling a little bit better. Since I last saw her. What's her story? Wish I knew. Man, this is a huge class. You can Sky <laughs> Let's get in. Man, this is a huge class. You can can actually recognize a few faces now. And Sabrina's here too. Looked like Ed sitting alone. Kinda surprising. I thought he would have tried to surround himself with people by now. You know that guy? Yeah, we have history. Oh, you dated? Ha! No! I still have some dignity. Trust me. Express Island is not worth it. I don't know. I feel like my standards would could learn to limbo for that guy. Either? Uh, so serious all of a sudden. I'm saying this with full seriousness. Don't do that to yourself. Alright, uh, take your word for it. Anyway, let's go sit over by the by the gang. Don't want to end up like Mr. Too Cool for Friends. <laughs> I guess, I think this is going to be Roos? Yes. Right, settle down. Are these guys our teachers? The guy on the left definitely looks like one. But the other guy looks like one of those mountain hermits you hear about on the TV. Welcome to uh, welcome to gym class. I'm Alder, and he's Buddy. I think okay. I think Alder is this guy, so I'm gonna do his voice a little bit different. I mean, the guy on the right. You can't see where I put. Who'll be your 
We'll be your instructors for this year. Now I bet you're all wondering what you'll actually be doing in this class. Well, just be... It'll be just like the other gym classes you've probably taken in your other schools. Except... Yeah, I was right, this is all there. Except we're not going to make you change into shorts and play sports. In this school, we focus more on training Pokemon, not your bodies. But training your body is important too. Ha <laughs> ha. Ahem. Anyway, the real reason why this school has a gym class like this is to prepare you kids for the real Pokemon gyms after you graduate. At least for those interested in tackling the league. Can any of them of you tell me why gyms exist in the first place? Oh, Jaren. Gyms were created to weed out the skilled trainers from the medic medicor medicor I can't say the word <laughs> mediocre is the word uh trainers if we didn't have gyms any trainer could directly attempt to challenge the league overwhelming its resources or perhaps there's a they at least limit the number of people that think they might they might good Pokemon trainers. Not from what I've seen. That's dumb. Gyms are just a pain in the ass. Nuh uh. <laughs> Do you even know how much bench pressing bench press equipment costs? You need to use that thing for like a decade before it starts paying for itself. Talk about Pokemon gyms, you idiot. Right. Well, good guesses, but main purpose of, of a gym is to allow trainers who are less experienced to test their skills against more experienced ones on even footing. And that is why we're going to... That's what we're going to be doing in this class. And I'm going to end this episode here as this freaking horn is busting in my ear. So like, comment, and subscribe. As I will keep on bringing on episodes every day unless something weird happens. I do have a Twitter that's at Chiodo, which of course you guys can follow. Peeps and Peepets on that. And I do want to just say thanks for watching and for now. Or, sorry, BFN for now. Woot woot.